Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be taking a look at the drone camera in MSFS 2020. The drone camera gives you the ability to perform walk-arounds or record cinematics as you are currently seeing here on the screen. So in this video I'm going to show you the default settings of the drone uh, camera controls in, uh, in the sim and I'm also going to show you how you can map the drone camera functions to a joystick, for example, or change the keyboard mappings that are currently set in the flight simulator. The first thing I want to do in this video is show you how you can actually know what are the current controls mapped to the drone camera and how you can change them to your preference. To do this, we are going to hit the escape button and we're going to go to the controls menu. From the controls menu, make sure your keyboard is selected. By default, the drone camera features, the basic drone camera features, are automatically mapped to keyboard buttons. Next, we're going to come here to the search uh, box and we're going to type drone. Make sure that the filter says all so that you can see all the controls that are currently mapped, not just the ones that are set. Now you can see that there are a number of options um, available here with the current mapping. All of these controls, uh, you can test them inside the sim. Uh, for example, toggle uh, drone autofocus, uh, decrease drone rotation speed, uh, decrease drone translation speed. But the most important ones are the ones that are used to actually move the drone camera. And those are the letter S, F, W, a, D, and R. Let us take a look at how these different controls function inside the sim and then we will hop back into the settings and I will show you how you can change any of these mappings or add new ones. The letter W will move the drone camera forward and the letter S will move it in exactly the opposite direction. The letter A will move it sideways to the left and the letter D will move it uh, sideways to the right. Then you've got the um, R and F buttons. The R button is going to move the drone upwards and the F button is going to move the camera downwards. Now this is uh, probably sufficient for most of us but what if you want to tilt your view? To tilt your view you need to use the numpad. On the numpad the number six is going to move the cam rotate the camera to the right or the number four will rotate the camera to the left. Also, you can pitch the um, drone camera upwards or downwards by using numbers eight and two respectively. You can also use the number nine and seven to uh, tilt the camera uh, to the right and left respectively, as you can see here. In order to reset the drone back on your aircraft, you need to hit numpad number five. And as you can see now, we are back here in the default view uh, once the drone camera is enabled. All right, let us now take a look at how we can actually change or add a new mapping to the drone camera. We're gonna hit the escape button and head back to the controls and once more we're going to make sure that the keyboard profile is selected. We're going to make sure that the filter is cleared so that we can see all the controls and we're going to type the word drone. Now we can see all the controls once again. As you can see here to toggle the drone on and off you, hit, you have the insert button but you can actually change this or if you have a joystick, for example, button that is not used, you can assign that joystick button to work as a toggle for your drone. Let's take a look at how we do that. I'm gonna go here for the sake of providing you guys with an example to my um, a joystick HOTUS Warthog, and I'm gonna click it. And now we have the same here, drone, and we're gonna select uh, essentials, assign all, and we're gonna look for the camera and that is the camera and the drone camera. And now as you can see I have some um, commands uh, mapped here as you can see and I do have the toggle camera, toggle drone camera which is number three. 
Uh, now, number three is actually uh, the button. When you press this hat switch, uh, you can simply click here. I'm just going to clear this, okay? And the way you do that, we're going to say validate. Very important. So I've removed the actual mapping now. So I can go to toggle uh, drone camera, and I have my joystick selected, and I have the, uh, the numbers corresponding to the buttons. All you need to do is click on drone camera here, and search by input, and then we just press the button once. As you can see, this button has already been assigned to something else. Or what you can do is press another one. So I'm gonna press this one here, and I'm gonna say validate. Now, number three on my joystick on my HOTUS Warthog actually will toggle the drone camera on and off. Let's take a look at the sim. As you can see now, we are in the, uh, in the free camera uh, mode. And if I click on the button on my joystick, it will uh, toggle the drone camera. Uh, as you can see now, I can use the A and the Ds again to move the camera around or move the drone camera around. In order to change the speed of the rotation, you can use F3 and F4 to increase or decrease their rotation speed, as you can see here. Alternatively, you can always bring up the drone camera here from the camera control panel, and you can change the speed here to your liking. If you are doing a cinematic, of course, you will need to put these speeds below 5% uh, so that the drone camera would move uh, in slow motion and will give you the ability to create those really brilliant cinematics. Another thing you can do with the drone camera is you can specify bookmarks. Um, so you can actually specify a in bookmark and an out bookmark. So in and out bookmark, bookmarks, and then you can play that actual scene. Let's take a look. I'm gonna move the camera upwards right here. And then I'm gonna hit Shift and I to mark this as an in bookmark. I am then going to move around here. And perhaps we can also do a few rotations right here. And we could also move the camera further up like that. And perhaps we can just rotate the camera here just for fun. And now I'm gonna hit Shift and O. Uh, of course, I've used these mappings and I will show you these mappings in a minute. Uh, so now I have an in and out. If I hit Shift and D, as you can see, it had played that sequence exactly. This is particularly useful if you're creating cinematics and you can create as many as you like. Uh, for as long as you like, as you can see now. And by the way, you can also map a button to rewind the drone camera um, to where it started. So if you have a really long sequence, then you can definitely, uh, you, you might want to rewind to a specific point uh, in, in the sequence. And to do this, uh, there is also um, a, an option where you can set a rewind um, command uh, for the drone. So let's take a look at this uh, so that you guys uh, know which settings to change if that's what you want to do. So we are going to go back to Escape, Controls, and we are going to select the keyboard, and we're going to, uh, again, type in Drone, and we're going to select All. And now you can see here down, um, let's see, there you go. Set Drone Bookmark In and Set Drone Bookmark Out. Um, and then the shift and uh, D is, uh, let me see here where I've set this one. There you go. Drone in, out, play. Okay, you can also set a, a drone in, out, rewind uh, if you have a longer sequence and you want uh, you know, you want to, for example, go back uh, like halfway through the sequence, then you can definitely set uh, one here, it's quite simple. Uh, you just can come here and select search by input. And we can say, for example, control uh, and D. Um, it says it's already assigned to something. Oh, toggle yaw damper. So let's cancel that. And let's see here. Um, shift and F maybe. Shift and F. 
Uh, request fuel. No, we don't want to do that. All right, so let's say, for example, alt and D. That works, and we're going to say validate. Okay, and now we have the drone in out rewind the sequence, uh, alt and D, and shift and D to play in and out. Let's go back now. We're going to say apply and save, and go back and resume. Now we can say shift and D to play the sequence, or we could say Alt and D to rewind the sequence, as you can see. So this is uh, particularly useful for you know, creating cinematics. Uh, I think it's really a nice feature. Now, all these controls that are available to you uh, can definitely be mapped to a, um, a, a joystick, uh, or if you have an Xbox controller, uh, you can do it in exactly the same way. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of this short tutorial. I hope that you found it useful and insightful. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.